Ivan Blake had a plan. He wanted to take this travel trailer from Lab City and bring it to Charlottetown, a distance of 920 kilometers. And then when he got it home in his yard, he had a plan to move it to a place called Duck Harbor that would be about 38 kilometers from his home in Charlottetown. How would he get it there? That was the big part of the plan. The 38 kilometers, some of it over sea ice, he would end up getting a team together to help him manage this monumental task. This plan would begin to take shape during three days in mid-March 2018, when a crew of men and one lady, his daughter, ended up taking this trailer on a set of sleds pictured here and transport it across from Charlottetown to Norman Bay and then on to Duck Harbor across five kilometers at least of sea ice using the apparatus pictured here. The journey took less than three days but there were many challenges encountered both going up over the hills and going down over the hills both before they got to Cape Bluff Pond and also when they encountered the two large hills at Cape Bluff Pond. So you will see some of that here in this video which is a combination of a number of videos that were put together over this three day trek. An old saying comes to mind, many hands make light work, and in this case, the hands were operating machines that made the tow across the different stretches of lakes somewhat easier, but also these hands would be used when the trailer became stuck in a snowbank as they had to maneuver going up and going down the hills between Charlottetown and Norman Bay. The five machines that would be hauling the trailer at any given time and sometimes these machines were used to slow the trailer down going down over the hills but many times in the trek from Charlottetown the machine became stuck due to snow conditions but also just the massive weight of this piece of equipment and so it had to be at times moved using ropes and come alongs or block and tackle as some people would call it but overall it was a massive undertaking to move this machine the 38 kilometers and here you can see it being wrenched up from the lake below after it had got stuck in the snow and I guess the longest trek that it was to take was trying to get over one of the hills on Cape Bluff and it took about six hours in total from when she stopped to when she got moving again and here you can see her getting stuck as she goes up the hill and then goes sideways and then is stuck for at least six hours and the men and lady are working to get her up on blocks and then getting ready to pull her out back and forth and then lowering her down the other side of the Cape Bluff Hill as she makes her way down over the hill and the weight that would be pushing on these sleds in the conditions now very good but also needed to be held back by three snow machines that would have their brakes on. But overall, it worked out well. The engineering feat was great. Here you can see some snow that was 
cranked up to get the trailer moving again and then pulled up with a number of machines. After getting the trailer up one of the final hills, she was put on some cribbing, I would call it, to be left there for the night and then to gather some energy and then return the next day getting ready to take the trailer on the last part of his journey, which would probably be the shortest part of his journey, although it might have been upwards of 8 to 10 kilometers, it was mostly really good going as it was a cold day about minus 15 degrees Celsius when this started to pull the machine, but also the land was flat now as they were approaching Norman Bay and then heading on to and through Norman Bay out onto the sea ice which would be probably one of the easier parts of the journey as there was not a lot of hills to traverse over or come down the other side of. So you can see here in the video the team is making very good time and the recording gives you an idea of the speed that they're traveling as they move the last portion of this journey. just doing some last minute checks on the equipment as tomorrow we'll be heading across about five to six kilometers of sea ice and don't want any challenges there. Next morning heading through the community of Norman Bay and then on to the sea ice for the last portion of the journey which would actually be the shortest portion of the journey as most of the ground now is about the same as sea level. Just a few rises here and there on the land, but nothing that the team can't handle after what they have gone through the last couple of days. So here you can see just leaving the edge of the community as the sun is just coming up. But overall, it was a good trip. And here, leaving the community of Norman Bay on the last portion of the journey, and now out towards the sea ice, a beautiful sunrise, and then the journey across the five to six kilometers of sea ice. And speed here is about 38 kilometers per hour. Ivan submitted this piece of video to Skidoo Corporate and did receive a letter back thanking him for the recording but did not recommend that uh, it be used as a promotional by his company for whatever reason. But anyway, he did send him some uh, different gifts or paraphernalia that he suggested in the letter that he shared with the people that helped him in this endeavor. Overall, it was good to be recognized by Skidoo Corporate. As you can see in the picture, Stony Island straight ahead and they are ending the end of their journey after 38 kilometers they have arrived at their destination and here the trailer is getting ready to be situated on Stony Island for future fishing endeavors and Ivan and the team here are blocking up and securing the trailer in its new home, 38 kilometers away from where it began in Charlottetown and on 
almost a thousand kilometers from its original place. Ivan and the team left a trailer here in mid-March 2018 and would have to wait until June the 16th of that year to see. Looking out the harbor from where the trailer is too. Turning around. We got a trailer. We brought here last winter. And the snow machines. Beautiful spot. It was never ever here until now in the summertime. There's water the three sides of us. Little place here that you walk across when the water is low. That side is high. <coughs> you can uh, go through there in boat very slow. Kind of like on a island. On a island. Perfect. Ivan's last word was perfect. And was it perfect? Was it worth it? I think the pictures here will give you that answer.